Oh, oh, 25. Hold on a minute. Well, there you go. That was the roller coaster ride of excitement you came for. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the video. Something a little bit different. Um, I listed two bundles of these Monster High dolls. So one bundle where they are complete, uh, not missing arms and hands. And one bundle where they are missing arms and hands. Oh, they're falling out of the bag. These ones. And I listed them on auction, which is unusual for me. I don't really do a lot of auctions. And they are finishing imminently. And I thought we would film the end of the auction. Maybe they'll shoot up. So if you're not aware of Monster High Dolls, it's a Mattel franchise. Um, started in America, I think it was around 2010, that sort of period. And there's, there's loads and loads of different dolls available. I don't know how many, but just tons of them. And they're all based on monsters, like high school age monsters. I know, right? Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. And so they're kind of Barbie size dolls. And there's a whole huge range and there's lots of play sets and all sorts of stuff. But the important thing is they are collected. There's a big, big collector's market for this stuff. If you see them new in the packaging, you can get silly money on some. There are certain editions that are hard to get hold of. There's various boys. Most of them are girls, but there are a whole load of boys. We've had those in the past and some of those can do really well. I am not an expert. Um, but yeah, if you look into it, there's a whole world of collectors of these things and it's, uh, yeah, there's a market and they sell. That's the point. I started them both at £20. We've had some offers in at the starting price. And we turned those offers down and we've let them run. They now both have crept up a little bit. The... The one, the bundle missing arms and hands is currently at £21, so it's crept up a tiny bit. The bundle where they are complete is currently at 23 So I think the one that's finishing first is the ones with issues, the ones missing body parts. Okay, so you can see here we have 59 seconds. I'm going to have to keep refreshing and we'll see if it jumps up 46 seconds 39 seconds so again this is the the lot where they are missing hands uh, she doesn't have arms from the elbow down for example so I wasn't expecting this to do much really past 20 but you never know 24 seconds left still at 21 pounds I think it's going to end at 21. What do you reckon? 12 seconds. 8 seconds. Is it going to go up? 3 seconds. Um, ended at 21. Okay. So that's done. Well, that was thrilling, wasn't it? <laughs> you never know with auctions if they're going to do anything at the end. So... Those have sold for £21 for the incomplete Monster High dolls times however many it was, six or seven. So we have another two or three minutes left until the other lot sell. And these ones, I think, stand more chance of going up. These are, I've got it open, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, six dolls with arms and legs and everything. And only one without clothes. So I will film that one coming to an end and hopefully it will do something really exciting like go up. Otherwise this video might be a bit dull. Okay, so here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like I said, one, no clothes, um, but they all have all of their body parts. Currently at £23. Uh, if I refresh, we'll see how much time we've got left. 55 seconds. So, what do you reckon? Is this going to go up? 
because I'm filming it? Probably not. Uh, 41 seconds, no movement. 35 seconds. 27. <laughs> 20 seconds, no movement. It'll be interesting to see if the uh, it's the same bidder that's winning both. So 12 seconds, seven. Oh, it's not gonna go anywhere, is it? Oh, oh, 25, hold on a minute. 26. I'm getting notifications on my phone. I can't see what I'm doing. Is it finished? Ended. Oh, it did go up. Yay, 26 pounds for those six. Huh. Okay. Well, there you go. That was the roller coaster ride of excitement you came for. <laughs> so it jumped up a tiny bit. We got £26 on those. Um, I'll have a look actually and see if it is the same buyer. Um, okay, so that's that one. Just going to have a look at the other and see if it's the same buyer. That would be nice because then I can just ship them all together. All orders. No, it's two different buyers. Okay, fair enough. So 21 pounds and 20, what was it? 26, so 47 pounds. I did them with free shipping, um, so that's got to come off as well. But there you go. Better than being sat on the shelf for probably well over two years, <laughs> as they had been, they've gone. Um, am I happy with the price? I don't know, I thought the complete ones may go beyond that, I'll be honest, but 26 is okay. The damaged ones, I was, I was going to start the damaged ones at 15. I was thinking maybe I'd be lucky to get that. Ended up putting them both on 20 pound start, so I'm, I'm more pleased with the damaged ones going at 21 if I'm honest. Anyway, there you go. That was some auctions ending on eBay. Thank you for watching. I will share another video up here. Please check this one out if it looks interesting. What should I put up there? I'll put a really old video about Polly Pockets considering we're talking about toys. So check that video out. Take care and I'll see you soon.